Hi, I'm Eric Peterson. I'm a relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's attraction tips video is how to add and maintain romance in a relationship. Now it's really no secret that the ladies love the romance and it really is an important part in keeping a, a healthy and loving relationship alive. Now, it's, the romance is relatively easy in the beginning stages of a relationship because everything is still so new and exciting and mysterious. Because you're really still learning and discovering things about each other, so everything really is still very mysterious and exciting and new. But this doesn't mean that you should be slacking in the beginning stages of the relationship either. Or even if you've been married for, you know, 30 years or so. Of course, romance and courtship is a lot more difficult when you've been together for a long time, whether it's a long-term relationship or you've been married for many years, because you're already very familiar with each other and you have fallen into you know, patterns and routines of everyday life. But it's definitely not impossible to keep that romance going. And it really is important if you want to keep your, re your relationship a loving one rather than just being roommates, so to speak. The fact of the matter is, like I already mentioned, the ladies love the romance. And if you're not providing it for her throughout the relationship and even the marriage, eventually she's going to start getting bored, turned off, and ultimately fall out of love. And before you know it, some other guy that understands how to romance her and court her, he's going to come in there and just swoop her off her feet. I've always said that game is forever, and part of game is knowing how to romance and court her. Because the thing is, women instinctively know that if you are putting in the effort to romance her and keep that courtship going, that you really do care about her. So what exactly is romance and courtship? Well, romance is really just simply adding and maintaining mystery and excitement in the relationship, but in a fun and playful sort of way. Love is supposed to be playful and fun, and if you throw in a little bit of excitement and mystery into the mix, you, you and your girl will have something pretty fantastic. I can guarantee that. And to court her is really just to pursue love with her, to always be maintaining her love and romantic interest in you. So romance and courtship are really two sides of the same coin. Essentially, you just you always want to be getting her to fall in love with you over and over again. Now, for most guys, once they get the girl, they start to think, well, I got the girl, now I can relax. And that is really the wrong way to go about all this. You want to keep that going throughout the relationship, no matter how long it goes on. Because then what usually happens when the guy gets lazy and complacent is his girl starts to pull away and shut down emotionally because she feels like you don't care about her anymore. And then what happens, usually either the guy notices that she's pulling away and he overcompensates and starts acting needy and insecure. And this really just causes the girl to pull away even further. And it turns into this vicious downhill cycle that has really nowhere to go but downhill. Or the other thing that happens is the guy doesn't notice that she's pulling away and is shut down emotionally because he's so wrapped up in his own life and his career that all of a sudden one day she leaves him and he doesn't know what hit him. I mean, I've talked to guy, many guys about this and when their girl leaves them, they're like, it was out of the blue. I don't, I don't know what happened. And the fact of the matter is, is that she has probably tried to communicate to communicate this to you on some level and you just weren't picking it up. Because like most of us, she just wants to feel loved and special. And if you're not dating and courting and romancing her, she's going to naturally assume that you don't care. And that's going to be the end of it. So how do you keep the romance alive throughout the relationship, both in the beginning stages and far deep into the relationship as, as long as it goes on? There's several things you could do. Now, number one is to continue dating her no matter what. Now, this is huge. You never want to stop dating her throughout the entire relationship. Like I said, no matter if it's the beginning stages of the relationship or deep into it after you've been married for many years. 
Now, obviously, you want to be dating her regularly. Now, this doesn't mean you have to take her out every week, but it should be fairly consistent. A lot of a lot of guys fall into the habit, especially uh, you know once they start living together, is they you know order a pizza and watch a movie or do Netflix, Netflix and chill. Now, girls do enjoy doing these things, but not all the time. You know, once in a while is fine, but doing it all the time, like I said, she's going to get totally bored and turned off. And when you do take her out, you want to do things that are different and fun. I mean, even taking her out to dinner every Saturday night, let's say, will also eventually get dull and boring. And again, doing this once in a while is, is just fine, but you don't want to be doing it all the time. And another thing to keep in mind, you don't want to be taking her out the same night every week or however often you do it, every two weeks. So in other words, you don't want to be doing it, let's say, every Saturday night. You know, maybe the next time take her out on a Friday night. And maybe the next time after that, take her out on a Wednesday night or maybe a Sunday afternoon. The idea here is to always keep her guessing because this builds up anticipation and keeps things a little mysterious and exciting for her. And speaking of keeping things fun and interesting, you want to do thing, you want to make your dates creative. I mean, like I said, taking her out to dinner once in a while is just fine. But maybe the next time, take her out to, let's say, cosmic bowling or miniature golf or maybe even an arcade. The next time after that, maybe plan a late night picnic on a beach or a forest preserve. Or maybe one night, you know, get one of those inflatable kiddie pools. And instead of filling up with water, of course, you know, throw in some, uh, you know, blankets and pillows. Get a couple of uh, wine glasses and a bottle of wine. And just snuggle up with her and drink some wine and watch the stars. I mean, girls love this stuff. And it doesn't always have to be sappy stuff either. I mean, you could maybe plan on going hiking together or maybe rent some wave runners or take a historic tour of the town or maybe book a Airbnb room a couple hours outside of town for the weekend. I mean, there are so many creative things you could do if you just think outside the box a little bit. And I guarantee you, if you put in the effort to do these sort of things, she will pay you back tenfold with her love because girls just love this stuff. And if you want to amp it up even a little bit more, uh, one thing you could do is make these interesting dates a surprise. I mean, obviously, you want to make sure that she knows you're going to be going out, but, you know, you just don't tell her where you're going. I mean, she's going to try to get it out of you, but you just tell her it's just a surprise. And just tell her what time she should be ready um, what she should wear, and just take it from there. Because what this does is it helps build even more excitement and, and anticipation for her. I mean, she's going to be wondering, you know, where is he taking me? Maybe she'll talk to her girlfriends and say, you know, and they will be trying to figure out where you're going to be taking her. And this is all part of the fun and mystery and excitement of, of dating. And you have to keep this going throughout the relationship. And just a little side note, if you're going to do these surprises for her, is to have a backup plan in case she isn't into what you have what you have planned as a surprise. I mean, as an example, like, my girl doesn't like bowling, so if I sprung bowling on her, she might be like, uh, I don't know. So you want to have a backup plan. And it's also good to have a backup plan in case something goes wrong. I think I talked about it in my video, uh, How to Plan an Awesome Date, where I planned this uh, elaborate beach picnic for my girlfriend at the time. It was her birthday, and it ended up pouring down rain, and I didn't have a backup plan. I mean, luckily, I was able to figure something out, and it worked out really well, but um, if I didn't, it could have been, you know, it could have been an issue. <laughs> Another thing you could do to keep that romance alive is to flirt with her. I mean, flirting with her is really just being playful and teasing her. I mean, obviously you don't want to tease her in a mean way, but in, in a fun and playful way. I mean, women love bantering, and you throw a little cocky humor in there and a few little sexual innuendos here and there. 
Uh, she, it's really going to get her in a playful mood and even turn her on a little bit. And another way to keep the romance alive is to touch her with affection. And what I mean by this is to touch her in a non-sexual way. I mean, obviously, eventually you're going to want to touch her in a sexual way, but uh, touching her affectionately helps build up to this. I mean, women aren't like light switches where you could just flip them on and they're ready to, you know, roll around in the bed with you. I mean, they're not like us, where a woman could walk up to us easily and say, hey, you want to have sex? And we're like, yeah, sure. Women aren't like that at all. So you want to do things like um, maybe put your hand on the small of her back when you're walking by her or when you're sitting next to each other. Put your arm around her or put your hand on her knee or even hold hands. Maybe when she's cooking dinner or something, you just come up behind her and you wrap your arms around her, give her a little squeeze and a little kiss on the cheek and just walk away. I mean, you don't always have to be pawing at her. I mean, even that that will get annoying to her. But just give her little loving touches here and there because really it, it makes her feel loved when you do things like this. And eventually, if you keep all this up, it could end up in the bedroom. Doing all these things regularly and consistently will keep her smiling and have her feeling love and attraction for you. But like all good things, you don't want to overdo it. it like I said before, you just want to keep her, her guessing, and, but in a fun and playful way where she feels loved and she feels special. Really, as a man, your only job, as far as the courtship goes, is to focus on having fun with her and focus on getting her to smile. And if you could keep this up, I guarantee you that she will love you forever because most guys will not put in this effort. And this is what she really wants. So that's it for today's Attraction Tips video. If you have found this video of value at all, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up or shared it with your family and friends. And if you have any questions about this video or any questions as far as your dating and relationship life goes, feel free to head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. You could click on the contact tab and shoot me an email with your questions. If it's an emergency, um, click on the coaching tab and there's a couple options there for emergency coaching. And that is it for today and I will catch you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.